In this chapter, we will look closely uh, on the recovery, ionization, suppression and process efficiency and how these terms relate to each other. As previously mentioned, when you have a result, there is some, there it is different from your actual value. And this is referred as trueness and it is a systematic error of your measurement system. Mathematically, it can also be expressed as bias and it is a difference between your mean value and a reference value. And it is important to keep in mind that this um, systematic error is accumulated over a longer period of time so that random effects do not affect this uh, part of your bias. In LCMS analysis, bias uh, consists of multiple of components. First of them being instability or stability. And uh, this refers to your analyte stability during your analysis method. Uh, this part, since it's important, is considered later on in this course also. Secondly, there is a recovery. Recovery is not specifically LCMS specific, but it is related to your sample preparation step. And it refers to that your sample, your sample, sample preparation is not efficient enough and some of your analyte can be um, lost. Um, thirdly, there is a matrix effect which is very specific to your LCMS analysis since it's a very important part and there are many ways how to evaluate and calculate it. It is discussed next, um, in next chapters very thoroughly. And lastly, there are parameters that affect your analysis but you don't really know and are not part of the first three and this means that there are bias components other thank you can be due to the purity of your water or calibration of your um, different uh, volumetric wear. So this can be discussed differently. In addition, from the practic practical point of view, there's also a process efficiency. And this means that recovery and matrix effects are evaluated together in your validation. And next, there will be a more thorough analysis of matrix effects.